the Banshee's penance will save countless lost souls. A fate that would not have come to pass had I slain her in Ardenweald. Perhaps that is why Mother Moon stayed my hand. The Horde inflicted a grievous wound upon my people. You may never earn my trust, but you have my thanks for setting things right. For so long there had been little more than hatred and malice in our sister's eyes. To at last see a glimmer of the Sylvanas we knew. I had ceased hoping for such a thing. I am pleased we had a chance to speak with her, Varisa. I only wish we'd had more time. As do I. But if she stays true to her word and sees this obligation through, perhaps one day we will. It will never be like it was before. The pain she inflicted upon the Kaldori, upon the world. How could she ever answer for it? I'm not certain she can. But if her penance brings any measure of peace to those she wronged, at least it is a start. You are right, Lady Sun. Our family has endured so much darkness. We must find a way to cling to hope. Yes, Little Moon. Mother. Father. Lyrith. They are only memories. We thought our sister was as well. But now, we shall see. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you safe, my king. Even after reading Jaina's reports, I can scarcely imagine the horrors you endured. There were times I thought I would never escape the Jailer's control. The things he made me do. Those actions were not your fault. You cannot blame yourself. I... I should have been stronger. And when Rin, you are the strongest man I know. And when you return to Stormwind, the whole kingdom will tell you the same. I can't go back, Ken. Not yet. But the people need... Turalyon will keep the Alliance safe in my absence. And I know you watch over everyone we care about. Old Wolf. Of course. Take whatever time you need. And when you're ready, please, come home. Well met, King Greymane. Regent Lord. I hope the fate of Sylvanas Windrunner brings the Alliance some measure of peace. Peace? You stand in the Shadowlands, Regent Lord. Ask the dead she sent here whether they feel peace. As for me, that's something I will never know. Not while the monster who killed my son still endures. I understand. My people are haunted by the deeds of monsters as well. And what of you? Are you hoping that the Ranger General you served comes back from the Maw, or would you prefer having your war chief again? I spent most of my life alongside the Windrunner family. Sylvanas was my hero. And my friend. But the Banshee who nearly led the Horde to ruin was neither. Then you shouldn't have followed her commands. Good day, Regent Lord. Good day, King Greymane. To think we now stand on the other side of the veil, that those we lost await us here among these countless afterlifes. Is there anyone you would seek out, Bane, for one last conversation before you return to the land of the living? No need to spare my feelings, Lord Amar. You are asking if I wish to find my father. The truth is, I do not need to. His spirit is always with me, wherever I go, whatever I do. Guiding me just as his ancestors guided him. And what of you? Is there someone you would visit, given this chance? Prince Kael'thas. Long have I held the title of Regent Lord. 
all the while wondering if I was truly suited to lead my people. I would ask the last liege of Silvermoon if he regrets the choices he made. A chance to mend old wounds, and perhaps feel that the torch has truly been passed. A feeling I understand all too well. I pray your conversation brings you the peace you seek, my friend. When my service to the Kyrian began, and I first learned of the Maw, the knowledge filled me with sorrow. A mortal life is so incredibly brief. I questioned whether any actions taken within that span of time could truly be worthy of eternal torment. I confess that as an aspirant, I did not think of such things, only of duty. It was not until I witnessed Uther's plight that I recognized the injustice of the Maw. Never again will a mortal soul be sent to its depths. All deserve a chance at redemption. Recent events have shown us that a single mortal soul, in fact, every mortal soul, can alter the course of eternity. Indeed. For good or for ill. In the end, it was mortals and their decisions that shaped the fate of the Shadowlands. As Arbiter, I will take that lesson to heart. Every soul will be treated with compassion and will be given a voice in which afterlife awaits them.